So I've woken up, it is approximately two days before my marathon and I have to eat a shit ton of calories in order to fuel my body properly. So I'm gonna smash 10,000 calories today. Well, I'll try my very hardest to smash 10,000 calories. So you'll have to stick around, first of all, to see how I do it. Second of all, to see the results of what happens after I do it. And third of all, to see if I get sick. Um, hopefully I don't because that'll be the worst thing ever. I'm just sat down here with this little fucker. Um, he eats, how many calories there do you eat? I actually don't understand how people struggle with 10,000 calorie challenges. It's funny because usually people have some sort of plan when it comes to these 10,000 calorie challenges. But my plan is to just reinvigorate that old Ushin who used to be 130 kilos. Like it's fucking easy, surely can't be that difficult. Went in, picked up a big fuck off box of cereal, uh, crunchy nut, and there is approximately 400 calories and 100 grams of it. And 100 grams of it is probably fuck all. So I'm gonna mill as much of that as I possibly can. And one of the best protein bars I've ever tried. The grenade Oreo ones are unbelievable. Don't taste like cardboard, don't taste like Gandhi's flip flop. They actually taste nice and that's unusual for a protein bar. Um, so yes, I'll see you when I'm having my first meal here. And this is why people struggle with overeating. So the portion size that's recommended of this Kellogg's Crunchy Nut cereal is 30 grams. That it's 40 grams and like it's literally like two handfuls. I could probably eat that in two sec like two spoonfuls and that'd be gone. Because the recommended serving on this is not the fucking serving that 90% of people have. Like I have e easily over tripled that four times that. I could go through fucking the whole box I'd say. Um, and again, it's them understanding portion sizes, understanding portion control. That kind of benefits most people when they start calorie tracking more so than getting stuck tracking for the rest of their lives. So that's kind of the benefit of it. Um, so I'm definitely not going to be just having 30 grams today. Obviously, if I want to try and hit my um, calorie targets, but we will see what I do hit. So 100 grams of some protein milk in there. I don't even know why I'm measuring this, to be fair. I'm not going to video the whole entire time I'm eating my cereal because it's fucking sad. I'm sat in my kitchen and the video is recording and I'm here eating. Well, I can assure you, as a former fat man, you don't have to worry about me eating all this food. And it's going to be easy. Grenade protein bar. A can of Monster or Cancer, as some people call it. Fucking diluted. And then we have 100 grams of crunchy nut cereal. I'll probably go back and have another one of these anyways, I'd say, because it tastes unreal already. And 200 ml of milk. I mean, inside of it, it's class. But yeah, 200 calories in this and zero in this i think there's like 10 but i might be able to count it breakfast eating maybe like what 20 minutes and i'm sat here and i'm like fuck this is gonna actually be a lot harder than what i thought <laughs> um so i need to start eating food because i woke up late so i started this challenge at 10 it's almost 12 o'clock already and i've only 700 calories gone um and i have to eat close to 10 000. i'll get 10,000. not close to 10 000. you'll have to wait around and see if i do it just eating a cookie and had a latte in caffeineer and i didn't want to fucking record myself in there because sometimes pe people's most peaceful part of the day is just sitting down having a coffee and the last thing they need is some dickhead with a camera recording himself eating food so i have that eaten again as a former overweight person you can rely on me for having eaten and i'm fairly honest as well so i tell you if i was fucking struggling i am struggling with this challenge i thought it'd be easy i have about 1200 calories gone um i am going into the shop now to pick up fucking food but this challenge should be called a bankrupt yourself challenge never mind a 10,000 calorie challenge what sort of fucking money these other influencers are making but i ain't making that money to be spending this money on food um i'm craving fucking vegetables i feel like all i've eaten today is shit so i have to carb load have to eat as many calories as possible so i'm properly fueled for it i'm not just binge eating for no reason um and i'm not promoting say eating kind of like this at all um i wouldn't promote something like that um so this is kind of a, a once thing to kind of fuel myself walked into the shop and i had a little cheat code so this little small packet of pasta is about a thousand calories and 120 grams of carbohydrates fucking nuts and there's no chance that i'll not be able to eat that athlone sweets for anyone that has never tried athlone sweets you're missing out um maybe i'll send them to someone so if you can't read this video and i'll pick one of you cunts and send it to you some protein milk because i know i'm gonna have to have more cereal later on um some plain bagels um because fuck me I, I reckon i could eat the packet and now i say this and i said the same thing about the cereal early on and i felt sick after it and last of all some light butter some flour light butter the reason i don't just get normal butter which would make more sense because it's higher in calories because i preferably don't want to have a heart attack before the marathon marathon on 
fuck you. Top tip for people as well. So foods that you usually have, if you're trying to lose weight, foods that you usually have, find the lower calorie versions of them. Like normal butter is a lot more calories than just this small floor light butter. You can even find light normal butter. I think this is like vegan butter or something like that. I don't know. Um, I don't really think about it. It's the exact same, but it's only 25 calories and a little bit of it. Normal butter um, is a lot more. So looking for them small swaps. Even this to help get your protein intake up is a small swap. Um, if I wasn't, say, trying to put eat as many calories as possible i'd probably swap these normal bagels to slim bagels or low calorie bread the smaller the change you make the less you're going to notice it the less you notice it the less hard it's going to be and then it's easier for you to keep up over the long run and again when it comes to losing weight people don't have an issue with losing weight people have an issue with losing weight and keeping it the fuck off and how they struggle to keep it the fuck off is because they overhaul their whole entire um, life to overhaul their whole entire diet and then things become very very hard to stick to over a long period so the smaller changes are what's going to be easier for you to stick to this looks a lot more out of the packet than it did in the packet so now i just have to put hot water in here and cook it up the thing about this challenge is when you're actually tracking right the calories that you're eating it's very easy to see how much you've gone over by and you actually probably haven't gone over by that much so most of the time when people are panicking and being like oh i fucked up i ruined this i ruined my progress because i went over my calories i ate too much food like you haven't because it's actually fucking difficult to eat a lot of food um so if you think you fucked up, I highly recommend you still track your food. I highly recommend you try um type as much of it into my fitness pal as possible. Yes, the number might be above the number that you recommended, but I guarantee it's not as high as you think it is before you log it. And sometimes we can catastrophize things before we actually know the damage. And likely it's none. Because again, to put on one pound of fat, you have to eat 3,500 calories over your calorie maintenance. And my calorie maintenance is in around, let's say, 2,500. That means I have to eat 3,500 on top of that, which puts me at... Quick maths, I'm shit at maths. Four, five, se seven, three and a half, plus two and a half, 7,000 calories um, in order to gain one pound, um, according to the maths. And even after that, probably even more because my body's going to burn off a significant amount of that by just moving around a little bit extra, talking a little bit more, um, whether it be walking up and down the stairs, walking around the fucking shops to buy more food, shit like that. Calories are going to get fucking burnt off. <sighs> stress about it too much if you overeat once it's not that big of a deal it's multiple days in a row of overeating or multiple months in a row of overeating that cause you to gain the fat you don't gain fat overnight it didn't happen overnight to you it's not going to lose overnight for you um and so it is a slow process both ways slow process to put it on slow process to get it off and everything is so hard but essentially i've gotten this pepperoni and tomato sauce which is per portion 75 grams and i've just fucked it in here this is one of the reasons why tracking your calories is super important so this little portion of pasta that I have here with the, the pasta sauce alone is 200 calories, which is metal. You'd never think that unless you're actually weighing it out. And the total number of calories in this meal is actually 1,400. And it's not even that big. And that's actually more calories than what some people can consume in a day. Because some people's calories to lose weight will be in around 1,300. So if you're not kind of weighing out your foods and understanding the calorie counts in them, you're fucked. You're going to be so, so fucked. So that's why it's super important. But anyways, because I just couldn't be arsed filming me doing this and taking up a load of memory on my phone of me just eating pasta like and who wants to see me eat pasta at the end of the day right and you know what actually i'm not even really full after that so 1400 calories and it went down fucking easy however i don't know how it's going to come out because all this food i'm eating has to come out this challenge can't get any worse i actually fell asleep after the last meal i think it's just because i've eaten so much food i'm so tired my body's just putting all my energy into actually digesting the food but I have two of these on, so two full bagels, gonna murder them, and then that's gonna bring up the calories by another 500. It is getting late, um, so I don't know how many of these calories are gonna finish. Two of these bagels have 20 grams of jam on them, a small bit of butter, I'm not even counting that in the calories to be fair. Um, so let's see. I can murder four of these. Something good about bagels. Anything about that? Here's the second one. Is the jam is so sickening because I put so much jam on it? Again, I need more carbohydrates. But went down easy enough. So on to the next one. And with the second ones, except for I burnt these a little bit more, and there is twenty grams of jam on each one again. A little bit sickening, but we got done. I feel kind of sick after that, I can't lie. All the sweets are gone. Bagels are gone, threw them down. Actually, that was a shit choice of food because the two of them were only 500 calories with the jam included on top of them. 
You can see the fucking vein on the side of my head with how much <laughs> pressure this is putting on my body. It actually doesn't feel good at all. I thought I'd actually enjoy eating a lot of food, but I think people think they eat a lot until you actually track and then realize that you actually don't eat that much. But what happens is you're just going slightly over your calorie intake most days, which adds up to a calorie surplus and a lot of weight gain over a long period of time, but not over a short period of time. So I think that's one thing that this challenge has taught me is that, fuck me, even when I think I overeat or when I think I'm not doing great with regards to my diet, I'm not actually doing that bad. It's more so the thought of how bad I'm doing is actually way, way worse because today has been a struggle and I'm only on 3,500 calories or in around there. So I'm just awake and showered after yesterday. So I didn't hit the 10,000 calories yesterday. After I had that last bit of food, I absolutely conked to sleep. I probably would have done a lot better if I started earlier because I only started at like 11 o'clock and then went to bed for 11 because I have to be up early this morning to get ready to head up for the marathon. Um, I didn't really have a huge amount of time to get the food in. Not making excuses, I'm not great clearly out eating a huge amount of food. I thought I would be and I kind of with this challenge one thing that's brought to mind is that when you think you're overeating you're not overeating that much for anyone wondering how i'm feeling after eating so much food yesterday how am i feeling today actually fine um i think it's because i ate with a purpose so i was eating for the purpose of actually fueling my body for this marathon meanwhile if i was just overeating normally i'd feel guilty or i'd feel bad about it and when i feel guilty or feel bad about something obviously i'm not going to feel great the next day i'm going to feel sluggish i'm going to feel bad of myself i'm probably going to continue to make poorer choices so the thing is to actually switch your mindset and not feel guilty about it um, and realize that the food that you've eaten isn't just going to turn to fat straight away and um, that it can be used over the next couple of days to increase the amount of activity that you're doing because again these calories are the exact same as any other form of calories they're utilized in your brain in your muscles um, and for function of everyday life like to keep your body alive so it's not like when you just overeat your calories it's automatically turned to fat and i check my weight here compared to what it was when i started um give you insight on that um on how much it increases So based off that, my scale weight has increased in around 0 0.5 kilos. Majority of that would literally be the food sitting inside my stomach. Now I did go to the toilet this morning, um, so that probably got rid of a good amount of it. However, as I drink water throughout the day, that scale weight's probably going to increase even more. So tomorrow I'll probably weigh in closer to 82 kilos or 83 kilos. And because when we consume more carbohydrates or more salt, our, our body holds on to more water. And I can guarantee that that's probably going to fly up, but it's not body fat. I don't have to be worried about that at all. Um, from the scientific literature behind it, it takes 3,500 calories over your normal amount of calories to gain one pound. And actually our body doesn't really like gaining weight too quickly, the same way as it doesn't like losing weight too quickly. And so it tries to counteract it as much as possible. Likely I'll have minimal if not any at all weight gain from that single day of overeating what happens with most people is you overeat once you feel guilty you feel bad about it, you feel shit the next day you start and continue to overeat until monday comes around again or until the next diet craze comes around again and then you get going um, but in that period of time before you get going again you're gaining weight because you're just going haywire with your nutrition and binning it all off so um yes so that's the result of the ten thousand calorie challenge and uh, next time i might do i might try and fucking actually do it properly or finish it properly but it was just so sickening yesterday i chose all the wrong food i started quite late yeah that was a pain in the fucking arse but yeah see you in the next one if you're liking these long form videos let me know down below they're a little bit different for me a little bit unusual I actually get nervous recording these longer ones because i'm used to just the 60 second videos that i kind of edit and cut up these are a little bit different to me so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one